This video is for all the overthinkers who are just like me. I've been an overthinker for a majority of my life. I'm definitely not a type A personality. I'm in between type A and B, just depending on the situation. But sometimes my personality will just tip over into the type A part and I will become a bit more over analytical of myself or overthink the decisions that I make. And this week has just been one of those periods in my life that I have tended to overthink everything and just stress a lot about things that I have going on in my life. I'm in my final year of my degree, so next year it's more like I'm applying for my honors and I need to maybe get a job. And you know, it's where I'm supposed to be doing adult things or where society says that you need to, you know, kind of have your life figured out, which I. I don't think it's true for anyone and in my head and in my heart I know that's not true but you know sometimes when you see people your age you know getting a job or just you know living and getting their life together it can sometimes be a little bit daunting if you're not in that same headspace yet. I remember even in high school I used to you know finish a test especially in my last two years of high school I used to finish a test and if I wasn't sure about anything I would immediately come home or even if like I have a small break in between when I was actually getting fetched to come back home and when I finished the test I'd immediately take out my notebooks or my study notes and look for the answers and make sure that I got something right because otherwise it was like a bubbling effect in me if I didn't know if I was right or wrong which sometimes is a good thing but sometimes it was just very unhealthy for me to think like that and if I saw that I had gotten something wrong I would try and understand how did I make such a stupid mistake and you know really feel guilty about making a mistake rather than learning from it in some cases until a few minutes or a few hours had passed over until I kind of got my head around getting something wrong and then after that the worst part would be that I'd overthink overthinking I'd be so stressed out that I overthought about something and I'd feel guilty about spending so much time about overthinking again wasting more time so it was kind of the cycle I would just keep going going and going and it was a very very unhealthy mindset to be in and it's good to you know learn from your mistakes and take constructive criticism from other people and yourself and to learn from it but I think when it gets to a point that it is affecting your ability to move forward or improve or progress and really gets you in a bad space mentally which is kind of what has been happening a little bit in this last week that's where I think overthinking becomes very unhealthy and in the last few years that I came out of high school I have definitely become less stressed out and less of an overthinker than I was and that's probably why my academic results and the way that I absorb information is better because I'm not always looking at it as you know I either get it right or wrong but really enjoying the whole learning process and that's why I've done better but sometimes now and again I remember the tips that I've learned to make me get better at overthinking and I really wanted to share it with you because everyone tends to overthink it is part of our human nature except previously humans were built to overthink in terms of survival knowing where your next sleep was going to be or where you're going to get food from but now the things that tend to make people overthink aren't necessarily always that important or that life-threatening and I think that's where we need to choose the boundaries between what we want to focus on and not. So when it comes to overthinking and the tips that I have I think it's very important to first and foremost categorize what you are overthinking about into two categories. The first category is what you don't have control over, what you can't control at the present moment. It's where you think about whatever you've previously done and which you can't change, you can't take back. Or it's what's in the distant future, which may or may not be a possibility. No one knows what life is going to offer. And examples of this is sometimes I stress about, you know, eventually having a family and a successful career and things like that, which although I know I will have in the future, it's like kind of getting on my mind now, even though there's such a long road ahead. And I'm only thinking about like the end picture of what I want it to be like, not so much what the next 10 or 15 years of my life is going to be to get there or reach that kind of place that I want to be. I don't know how long that's going to take but I do know that it's in the future. It's not going to be within, you know, the next two or three years. And I think those are the types of things that people need to realize that they don't have control over at the present moment or as an individual. It's important that you don't focus your energy on things that you can't control. Once you have sort of unleashed what you can't control from your mind space, you can focus on the things that you can control, which is the second category that your problems can go into. I know it sounds so much easier said than done, you know, just saying, oh, I can't control this, you know, like, let me just leave it on the side. 
but the best ways to do this is to journal or do a brain dump which i recently did a video about and it's actually been what is helping me currently to kind of get over this funk that i'm in and i've been talking out to people about so it doesn't have to be just a brain dump on a piece of paper it can be a brain dump on someone just having someone that you can count on to let go and kind of externalize all of your problems is better than internalizing it especially for me because usually when overthinkers internalize things it just keeps on going with the circle and you constantly are thinking about it so i think doing these two things to help your uncontrolled situations will help you focus on your controlled situations what i mean by controlled situations is things that you can physically as an individual or at present deal with and i know sometimes the things that you can control over can make you overthink or stress because they might look like mountainous tasks to do so what i do i love making lists for everything especially for things relating to work youtube my small business or just things in general i love breaking down bigger tasks into smaller achievable tasks that i can do on a daily basis or on a weekly basis so for instance i had a huge report which was due actually last week with one of my friends from university and it was quite a huge project it was a presentation and a project report and so what i ended up doing is i sort of broke it down into the pieces that we needed to cover and as we were kind of finishing off each specific task it just made the task seem less and less unachievable and like we had less to do overall and that the eventual larger picture or task that we had to do would be achieved and that's like the biggest tip that i can give for trying to overcome the overthinking that can come with control situations i think in general it's important to remember that we cannot control everything there's always going to be a higher power or other people or other external factors that are going to affect whatever happens to you or what walks into your life and even though having no control seems scary and you know unsettling to think about i think life would be quite boring if we could control everything i think we tend to always want to reach the destination as fast as we can without really appreciating you know the challenges or the journey that may come with eventually achieving that destination and i also want all of my overthinkers out there to realize that overthinking is not a bad quality to have it shows that you're motivated you're passionate and you're ambitious about what you want to achieve or do in life but i think it is important for us to just take a step back sometimes and not let overthinking prevent us from being motivated or ambitious or being able to achieve something so i really hope that these tips help you if you're an overthinker like me and you have any other tips that i haven't mentioned here please leave them down below i'm always looking for new methods to try out and i'm sure all the other overthinkers who will be in the comments below or who will watch this video will really appreciate any insight that you have as well i hope that you guys have a wonderful week filled with lots of love happiness light positivity and less overthinking love you guys bye